That's a question that's been asked today. Uh, okay. Then uh, we want to have it for us. Okay. <laughs> so what did what did inspire you in Gears of War and the, the character of Enya to to build like wonderful art? I mean. <laughs> identified with Anya being, you know, she was one of the only females in the early years universe. And I love the fact that, you know, um, if you've read the comics or, or the books, you know that there's a very specific reason the women aren't on the front line. And she'd always wanted to, she wanted to be fighting side by side with who she considered her brothers and more. And so when she finally got the opportunity to, I thought that that was just, you know, it was so inspiring that I wanted to recreate her battle armor and kind of, you know, take that journey with her. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> Euh, merde, mais la deuxième question c'était quoi euh... Tu vois, mais il y a un peu de respect. Non, je pensais qu'il y avait deux de respect. Oui, ouais. Mais qu'ils m'ont captivé les bâillons et m'aimé. Ok. Je suis en train de me jealous maintenant. Tu vois le respect Oui, oui, oui. Je peux le faire à chaque fois, c'est facile. Non, c'est ok, je vais prendre tout le temps. Il y a beaucoup de fans qui vont te voir. Pourquoi tu viens à la Comic Con en US et pas à la Comic Con en France Je ne sais pas. Tu n'as pas dit qu'il y avait la Comic Con en France Non, je ne l'ai pas. Ah, crap I love conventions, and um, I would love to go anywhere I can in the world. Okay, I get you in touch with someone. All right. Um, you, you've already talked about why why you love the, the cosplay, like earlier in the, in the interviews. Can you just explain it again? Um, why, why, why do you prefer to, to, to build like some suit, this suit instead of writing pictures or drawing like some fan art or? Anything? Um, cosplay to me, like I, I have mentioned this before, it's really like an ultimate form of fandom. It's bringing to life characters that you love and stepping into their shoes and um, it's, you know, I, I go to conventions and I love seeing cosplayers that are cosplaying my favorite characters and I look at them and I think that is what this character would look like if they were real. And so I want to do that for my favorite characters. I want to bring them to life so other fans can appreciate it and so that developers can see it and see their visions brought to life. And it's also, it's very challenging. You learn a lot of new skills. You learn sewing, you learn painting skills, you, you learn, um, you know, armor fabrication, which is something I didn't know how to do a couple years ago. So it's very challenging but a lot of fun. And then uh, last question, it's like a side question. The other one is rated M for mature. Yeah. Do you think Anya and Marcus should have more involvement, like a mature involvement than what's happening in the game? I have, did you beat the game? Hmm? Did you beat the game? Not yet. I, I don't think they should give away everything, but I wouldn't mind, you know, if they can set their relationship a little more. Honestly, I haven't had a chance to read um, Coalition's End yet, which is the last novel, so I don't know, maybe something happened there. I'm hoping. But there's so much death and destruction in the world of Gears of War, I think a relationship would be a beautiful thing. And then the last question was kind of a J question because my friend here is a big fan of Ghost Recon. What do you think of Ghost Recon? I haven't played any Ghost Recon. <laughs> um, it's squad based, right? I don't. Uh, I want to get some. It is squad based. Yeah. It's Ghost squad based. Is squad based. Yes. I, I don't do a lot of squad based stuff. I don't know. I might prefer the new Resident Evil, the squad based Resident Evil. Maybe I'll do that show because I like that. I'm <laughs> That's okay. I'm sure it's a great game. Yeah, uh, you have to ask him. <laughs> great experience.